Blog Talk Radio. Hello everyone, this is Lori Smith on Blog Talk Radio, and you've just joined in to Mount Bethel Christian Worship and Fellowship uh, Bible Study this morning. It's uh, 8 o'clock uh, a.m., January 17th, Calgary, Alberta time, and I'm just so happy to be here. I just praise the Lord for every chance that I get to get into His Word and just just listen to all the beautiful promises and, that He has given us uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm so happy to be here. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not a minister or anything like that, and I'm not even attending a church right now as I'm just waiting on the Lord for my church. But what I do is I, I just love God's Word, <clears throat> and so I just like to share it with people. And since I don't have a Bible study group and I don't have people to share God's Word with, I just thought, well, while I'm doing blog talk radio, that I would do a little, um, you know, a little Bible study. And the Lord gave me uh, Mount Bethel Christian Worship and Fellowship a, a couple of years ago, and He did say, uh, May 2010. So I don't know. He's obviously got a plan. Hallelujah. And it's his plan that I want to stick to. So um, I just I just speak blessing words over you today that God would just enter your heart and, and God would and, and just surround you with his comfort and his peace and his love. You know, in, in this world, that we, like Jesus said, you know, not, not the peace that the world gives, but the peace that I give. Hallelujah to the Lord Jesus. So I'm happy to be here. And I really just wanted to read this morning. I'm only on for 15 minutes this morning just because I'm tired and I've got so much to do. Um, so I'm just kind of doing a short talk today. But I wanted to just talk, uh, just just look at Romans 5. Uh, Romans chapter 5 and Romans chapter 8 because they're so beautiful. And, um, you know, the whole word of God is so beautiful. But these two, for some reason, these two chapters are on my mind. And I just really wanted to share them. So I'm just going to start reading right out of the King James Bible. Chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet, peradventure, for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies... We were reconciled to God by the death of his Son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. And it says, Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of, of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of, many, of, of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to con condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. And I just love that, you know, where Adam, uh, Adam and Eve, you know, they they they, they sinned and 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 went against what God had told them to do. And because of that, the, the, they, they were serving Satan, and um, he, you know, they basically gave their anointing over to Satan, and then Satan became their God because they listened to him. And so where, you know, 
after that, every single person born after that was born into sin, and um, because God God had lost his his uh, authority here on the earth because man gave it to Satan, and it's still going on today. So I just uh, really we got we have to give our hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and let that love come into our hearts because we have to love all men. We have to love our enemies. We have to love the people that are hurting us. We have to love everyone. And that doesn't mean, you know, that you have to love what they do, but we have to love them. And you know why? Because God loves them. And God is our Father Creator. And He is the one who, He 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 is the Almighty, um, he, you know, He is love. And His Word is love. And He created us for love. And otherwise we wouldn't know what love is, right? If if we didn't have an, our eternal Father placing love in our hearts, we wouldn't even know what it is. So it's pretty obvious that we know what it is, and we know our Father. And um, you know, no matter no matter how you worship Him, Bob, we all know who He is. Praise God. And so, I just know that by Jesus Christ and His sacrifice, what He did, He gave His life for mine. So in other words, He took He took my place on the cross, and He took my place in hell, and He went down, and He and He defeated Satan, he took the keys, he arose on the third day, hallelujah, all victorious and all triumphant, and he said, all power has been given unto me, both in heaven and in earth, and therefore in my name you go out and you cast out the devil, cast him out, don't allow Satan to have one single little toe in your in, in the door, because he will try to he will try to manipulate your life so that you will make the wrong choices and you will go out and hurt people. He will do you know Satan's work, which is to destroy, to kill, to destroy, and uh, he's a thief, he's a he's a murderer, and he's a liar, and he is the he is the father of all lies. So. You know, you can tell that because people, human, the human condition is misery, right? And without God in your life, um, and without knowing love in your heart, which, you know, for many years, if you look at my other blog talk radio shows, uh, you can see that, um, you know, I had a lot of hatred in my heart, and especially if you look at my blog, my personal blog um, that I have actually listed right on this show. You can just click on it. Um, you can see I had a lot of hatred in my heart for, um, not so much for people, but for what they did, but it caused me to be in a constant state of hate and anger and for many years I spent like that and it was really destroying my life it was destroying because that's how Satan works he wants to get in and destroy you so don't let him in let the Lord Jesus Christ come in because you know what that's what he went to the cross for and I know when I was born again um, this was a couple of years ago praise God thank you Lord um, he he was right he was he knew when I was going to come to him so he was right there to beat me and he had his arms down and he was right above me. I was just turning the corner to go in the bathroom because I had my hair in a towel and I was getting ready to go look for a job and stuff and I was he was right there and I knew it was him and I was like hallelujah the lord is here and it did you know I mean I have to be honest it did kind of freak me out a little bit but he looked down on me and he said pass your burdens up to me that is what I am here for because I had just been really frustrated because I couldn't find a job and I was a little stressed out and he said pass your burdens up to me that is what I am here for I thought hallelujah I am passing my burdens up to him and so I did I literally passed them up and I said thank you Lord Jesus please come into my heart come into my heart take the pain and the anger away from me come into my heart cleanse my heart and cleanse my spirit you know I, I, and so I at, at that point I was reborn a new child unto God hallelujah and you know I'm not looking back I did focus uh, it took me I was actually still off work at the time I had uh, a, probably about two three weeks I think um, before I got a job and I was so thankful for it because I had the time to sit on the couch and cry and let the word wash over me because I had just become born again and I knew I had to start getting into the word so I started watching all the Christian programming which I would have never done before and I would have never picked the Bible up before but um, yeah, I went out and I found a Bible at, at, at a, 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 a library that it was free books, right? Because I didn't have a Bible, so I went to this place that just had these free books on the shelf, right? And I got this free this Bible. I brought it home and I started reading, and I was just, oh, I'm telling you, um, uh, all the uh, the pain and the anger and anguish that was just had manifested in my body was just being washed away, and I just sat and cried and cried and cried on the couch, and um, you know, just thankful that the Lord was with me and I could feel his presence around me and I still can today hallelujah so this is you know Romans 10 9 10 you know um, 
that if, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So see, I confess that the Lord Jesus was my Lord, and um, that I was born again. Hallelujah. I, I just, oh, just reach out to him. My, you know, people just always kept telling me, just keep reach out, reaching out to him, and he'll be there for you. And he was. Praise God. Romans chapter 8. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in, all, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. He had a plan, he had a way, and that was Jesus. Hallelujah. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is, in, is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then that they they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirits of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of, of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us, with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for all for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Hallelujah. We've got about 60 seconds. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So we won't be able to finish that, but I just... You know, if you're hurting and suffering today, and there's so many people around the world that are in Haiti and different places around the world, my prayers are with you. God bless you and keep you, comfort you. God just surround you with his precious loving arms today and every day. And this is my prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that he, all who call upon him, that the Lord would be there. And the, we know the Lord is there with you. And you just reach out to him and just give him your heart. Let him enter your heart. Let love come into your heart and push away the pain and the anger and the hatred and allow God's love to come in and his miracle working power, hallelujah, and just allow him to be the Lord of your life and you will never be the same. Praise God. Have a beautiful day. You're in my prayers and my thoughts.